Hi guys, welcome to this beginner's guide on Kinesis. I'm Johnny Chivers. I'm a data engineer with over 10 years experience working Monday to Friday in the financial services sector, five times AWS certified. I like nothing more in my free time than making videos for my YouTube channel and website to pass on that AWS knowledge. But what is Kinesis? Kinesis is a real time streaming service brought to us by AWS. It's fully scalable, managed by AWS and redundant out of the box. That means all we have to focus on is getting that data on and off the stream. This is known as a managed service. Kinesis comes in four flavors. Video streams, which as it says, is for video. There's complex AI algorithms that can be used for recognition of people, objects within those videos. There's data streams, which is a fully scalable and durable real-time streaming service that can manage gigabytes of data from thousands of sources. There's Kinesis Firehose, which is a real-time managed service, which is the simplest one for getting data onto your stream and integrating it with AWS services such as S3. Less to manage, but less flexibility. And then there's Kinesis Data Analytics, this is a real-time streaming service that lets us perform analytics on the data as it comes in, such as counts, aggregates, averages, for example. But why use Kinesis over other streaming services? Well, streaming services are very complex. They require a lot of infrastructure and have massive operational overhead in terms of human resources to look after them. As Kinesis is fully managed, we don't have to worry about any of that. We pay for what we use as the data goes onto the stream and there's no infrastructure that we need to look after. Therefore, we can just get on with looking after the data. That makes it cheap, reliable and scalable out of the box. But when do we use Kinesis? Well, it's a real-time streaming service, so the hint's in the name. It's when we need real-time streaming. But when do we need real-time streaming? Okay, so real-time streaming, we could think of it as things like Internet of Things devices, so sensors around our home that we want to stream in real-time to get that information, store it in AWS, and then make decisions on our home based on that information. For example, maybe we want to stream the temperature of every room, and when the temperature drops below a certain threshold, we want to trigger the heating to come on. Now, that's a very simplistic use case. Other real-world applications would be streaming the likes of stock data on the cases and storing it in a data lake for future use. You could stream real-time database data off your website and then store it for future use. Or clickstream data. You could store that off your website, get your data scientists to analyze that and then develop new business opportunities around the analysis that they have done. So the best way to get on with Kinesis is a bit of learning hands-on on the console. Let's follow along. Let's fire up our first stream. Once we've done that, you can do further learning on this channel on my website where we have a Kinesis 101 series, which has five or six lessons that go through each service in depth and you create a real-time streaming app using them all. Okay, that's me signed into the AWS Management Console. First thing we're going to need is an S3 location to stream our data into. So let's go to S3 and open that up in a new link. Once there, we're going to create a bucket. I'm going to call this bucket Demo Johnny Kinesis Test. One. Select the region that you want to create the bucket. I'm going to use EU West 2 and block all public access. So this is just an area where we can set the data. Um, that's everything, so just create the bucket. It takes a few seconds, and that is our bucket created. Now don't forget that this bucket name has to be unique within the entirety of AWS, so you'll have to pick something that's unique to yourself. Back onto the console tab, let's go to Kinesis. And let's go to Kinesis itself. Then what we're going to do is create a Firehose stream. No, oh, I've already got one up and running, but we'll create a new one. And give your delivery stream a name. So I'm just going to call this test one data kinesis. Okay. Choose your source. We're just going to use a direct put. And enable source records. We're just going to leave everything else as default and click next. Process records. We're not going to use a lambda. We're going to use it disabled. We're not going to do any conversions. Okay, next our destination is AWS S3. 
We need to choose a bucket, so let's choose a bucket. And we just created that bucket, so we're going to use that bucket. Going to leave the prefix as is. Going to leave the error as is, and we're going to click next. Okay, buffer size, let's take this down to the minimums so we're not waiting too long. So that goes to 1, and that goes to 60. So we'll have to wait at least a minute before we see any data appearing, but we can pause the video and pick it back up when we get to that stage. Error logging, we're just going to leave everything else as is. We're going to create a new role for it, and we're going to go next. Okay, so summary, it's going into the bucket I just created. We're going to do put destinations S3. New role that we're going to create here and 60 seconds or one megabit is the buffer size. Let's create that delivery stream. That's the stream creating as you can see we just have to wait until the status goes active. You can keep refreshing at the top and then eventually this will become active. I'm going to pause the video right here and I'll pick it up once that stream is active. Okay it took about 30 seconds in total and you can now see that the stream is active. So let's click on Let's click on the actual stream itself here on this radio button and we're going to test with demo data so we go test and we're just going to leave everything as default and we go start sending demo data. Now as I said it takes up to a minute for our stream to flush, flush through that data. So I'm going to pause the video here for at least five minutes and then we can pick it up in five minutes time. We have five minutes with our data that's been processed through the stream. Okay that's been about four minutes and as you can see I'm still sending the data. But what we'll do is we'll jump over to the S3 area. I'm on the bucket already. If I hit refresh, we should see now that our data has started to appear. So it goes by year because we left it as default. The month, the date, the hour. And then you can see the data has actually appeared here. So if I was just to click on one of those, I was to go object actions, open, download, show and finder. And as you can see, that's what the demo data starts to look at. It's just stock ticker data that AWS are providing for us to test our streams. So back onto the console, we just need to stop sending that data now. So you do that by stop sending data. Back in, if we go back up a level, we hit refresh one last time. You can see now we've ended up with six files. If we click the top file and we go actions and we go query with S3 select. Um, the data is actually in JSON format, so we'll just hit JSON. It's in lines, document, custom, Let's run that query. And as you can see, it successfully returned five lines for us. Now, if you just want to do something more different, put in 10, run the query, and you'll get the 10 lines of the file back. So that's everything for today. We've done a beginner's guide to AWS Kinesis. We've created a Kinesis Firehose stream. We've placed that in the NS3 bucket. We've looked at the data that's came off that bucket um, by downloading and opening it in a text editor. And then as you can see, we can also select data from the files using AWS S3 select. So I've been Johnny Chivers. I'll make all this information for free, as usual, on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys.